can simple clapping of hands cause gravitational waves if they if if it if it's the, if it's the case then how powerful should be the lego device to make such a minuscule reading simple clapping of hands can the clapping of hands cause gravitational waves so if you study general relativity you will know that any kind of acceleration of mass of a mass will cause gravitational waves acceleration of mass which also means deceleration so when my hands are at rest over here they are stationary now when i clap it means my hands accelerated towards each other and then stopped which means decelerated so when you have when you have acceleration and deceleration of a mass my hands have mass obviously then you're going to have gravitational waves even this will cause gravitational waves but these gravitational waves are going to be extraordinarily faint the amplitudes are going to be minuscule what's the amplitude a wave has two things frequency and amplitude right if you look at waves in water they have frequency which means how how often per second does does the wave form appear and they have amplitude which, which means how tall are the waves amplitude and frequency how many times per second and how tall are the waves so gravitational waves are extremely extremely faint which means they have very small amplitudes when two black holes collide or merge or when a black hole collides with a neutron star that causes a gravitational wave tsunami even that is so faint that you need a four you know something like ligo whose arms which is an interferometer with 4 kilometer arms to barely measure that signal right so when you have the clapping of hands you can very quickly do a rough calculation of the strain amplitude okay well, i'll not tell you what that is because i don't explain physics then there's something called strain amplitude you can estimate that by just plugging in some numbers let's say my two hands are have a mass of 1 kg each let's say the frequency is about 40 hertz of the clap and so on you can put in some some rough numbers and that gives you uh, typically you know what, what kind of uh, uh, amplitude the wave is going to have so it gives you the strain amplitude and you will find that uh, from that you can determine how large the interferometer needs to be the, the instrument ligo like instrument has to be so for ligo the arms are 4 kilometers long roughly if you were to create a ligo kind of instrument interferometer that can measure the gravitational waves produced by this clapping you will find that the arms i did a rough calculation before this this show so you'll find that the arms of the interferometer need to be between 40 million light years and 10 raised to 15 light years in length each arm so imagine uh, a, an instrument whose arms are 40 million light years long each and they are at a right angle to each other right the milky way our galaxy home galaxy is about 100000 1 lakh light years across in diameter the nearest galaxy andromeda is about 2 and 1/2 million light years away right but if it's 40 million light years that's further than the andromeda galaxy and if it's 10 raised to 15 light years that's bigger than the diameter of the observable universe so essentially what i am saying is that you can never build an instrument that can detect the gravitational waves that are caused by the clapping of two hands that's how faint the gravitational waves are that's how that's how weak the gravitational force is very interesting thought experiment